All right, here's a cool feature I found on the Roku recently. I actually stumbled across it. Um, it's called uh, screen mirroring. And basically what it allows you to do is uh, take images from your laptop or your Windows 8.1 uh, computer, as long as it's hardware compatible, uh, and um, actually share it on the screen. It also work on your Android phones. Unfortunately, there's no uh, there's no compatibility with the Apple uh, iOS devices, but uh, as far as compatibility and stuff goes, I'm going to put a chart up on this video showing you whether uh, what's compatible and what isn't. So let's first turn it on. So we're at uh, the home screen. We're going to go to settings and down to screen mirroring. Now notice that it says beta. So you know if you have any issues with it, that's probably why. And mine is enabled. Uh, if yours is not enabled, just you know choose enabled and then hit that. Okay, so that's all there is to turning it on. It looks like it's turned on by default, and uh, as it as it shows you there, it'll let, it'll enable you to mirror what's on your PC, smartphone, tablet, or PC screen to your to your TV screen, uh, like web pages, video, photos, music, etc. Anything that's on that device that's shared through this will be able to display on the screen, and I'll show you that. Uh, after I show you how to set it up on uh, Samsung Galaxy uh, S4. Okay, here's my Samsung S4, San Galaxy S4. I'm just going to go to the top menu bar, move it down, and then I scroll over on my options all the way to screen mirroring on the very right. We'll click on that. It's looking for available devices. It said it found a Roku 3 and it's now connecting. Wait for that to happen. And my Samsung S4 is now connected to my television. I'll show you what that looks like and what you can do with that next. All right, I'm going to click the screen mirroring mode here. And it's, uh, it's connecting. Sorry if it's a little out of focus. So. There we go. There's what you're going to get on the screen. And now you see my telephone. Well, my smartphone and everything that's on it. Uh, so there we are. As you can see, you can basically see anything that's on the phone. Um, let's go somewhere. Uh, let's go to uh, let's go to the pictures. And then, okay, well, I'm uh, now automatically on my uh, camera. So you can now see my fireplace and over top of the fireplace is the television then you start to get the mirroring effect of the phone picking up what it's outputting okay but as you can see that's very cool and if you had to like I said it'll play video back on this from the phone including the audio on the video on your TV so it's very cool that way um, it could also play your pictures so let's go to the pictures okay there's the video Go back to all right. So there's that picture on the screen. But here's the cool part: turn it sideways, sideways or in uh, horizontal mode, and you see the whole uh, the landscape. You see the whole screen uh, showing you the whole photo. Okay. Now this is just a very basic photo, but. Uh, if you had a nice photo, it would show you everything on it. Let's go back to, and it just resizes right down again. So, yeah, you can use it for video. You can use it for pictures. It's very cool that way. Um, so let's back to the, let's go back to the home screen. Uh, what else can I show you? Oh, the internet. Let's go there, and then you have a portrait size, or full size of the uh, Google search page okay and uh, then you just scroll through and whatever you do on your phone happens almost automatic uh, almost instantly on your screen there's a little bit of delay but not very much so basically you're ready to show anything on your phone on your screen using the Roku screen mirror feature as long as your hardware is uh, compatible Number one, number two, uh, I forgot to mention, but the phone needs to be uh, connected to the same network, Wi-Fi network, as the Roku is. 
okay? Uh, that's basically it though. Once you do that, the two will find each other and you'll get this result. Okay, I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to take it, take it outside and then see, uh, I'm going to go about 25 feet away and I'm going to just turn on the camera and see how, if it feeds it to the television. That's it for my video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video and it helped you out in some way, do me a favor, click on the like button right down here. And uh, you know, if you wish to subscribe to my channel, just click on this link up here. And that should subscribe you to the, the uh, Richard Lloyd channel or Richard Lloyd USA channel. Um, okay, again, thank you very much for your time and watching.